This is question number eight and it's a non-calculator question. We're told Annie, Betty and Carrie are revising for their maths exam one afternoon. It takes Annie four minutes to complete each question. It takes Betty eight minutes to complete each question. It takes Carrie six minutes to complete each question. We're told the girls are each given a practice book with 100 questions in and they start working through the questions. They all start their books at exactly 2 p.m. In part A for two marks, it says Carrie has just finished her fourth question. How many questions has Betty completed in this time? If we look ahead, I think most of these questions are going to either be highest common factor or lowest common multiple problems. If you're ever struggling with one of these, setting out a table could really help. You certainly don't have to, but it really might help out. So what I'm going to have now is my table and I'm going to have the girls in here and some times. So what I'm going to do is the following. Just writing this in, we can start filling this out. So here are my girls just here. So there are the girls. We've got A, B and C. So if we now look at the questions, question one, Annie would be done in four minutes, Betty in eight and Carrie in six. Question two, Annie would be finished or A would be finished by eight. This would be 16. This would be 12. The third question, we can see that would be 12. This would be 24 and this would be 18. If we look at the fourth question, this would be 16. This would be 32 and this now adding six on would be 24. We could add some more. If I looked at this one, that would be 20. This would be 40. And then this one is going to give me now 30. So let's look at the question. It says Carrie has just finished her fourth question. How many questions has Betty completed at this time? We can see here that it's now 16 minutes. We can go across and simply say now that it's going to be two questions. So clearly you can see that it's taking her now double the time. So she's going to have half of them done. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to write from the table and the table would be sufficient workings. We can see now that uh, four questions. So four cues. Uh, so four cues for Annie is equal to 16 minutes. So it's equal to 16 minutes. And I'm going to write, therefore, in 16 minutes, in 16 mins, we're going to have now Betty will have done it too. So Betty now has two cues done. So that's our answer, two questions. In part B for three marks, it says show that Annie will finish 100 questions before 9 p.m. if she works continuously through the book. So let's set this up. 100 times by 4 is going to be equal to now 400 minutes. So I'm being given now this three marks to show this. So if we split this up, we can say now that splitting this into hours, so now we can write this in hours. So if we look at this in hours, we know that there are 60 minutes in an hour. So this is going to give me a total of six hours so that's 360. So we've got now six hours and 40 minutes. If you want to show how you got that, you certainly can. So we can say if she starts, so if she starts at now, and in fact, let's write it as at rather than the, the uh, at sign. If she starts at 2 p.m., let's go here. If she starts at 2 p.m., so if she starts at 2 p.m., she will finish so she will finish at now 8.40 p.m. So 8.40 p.m., therefore before 9. So all I've done is simply work this out. So before 9 p.m. So that's my answer. As stated, you might want to show how you've done this. In hours, it's 6 hours and 40 minutes. That's 400 minutes, therefore she will be completed. Okay, it says now in part C for two marks, at a certain point during the afternoon, all three girls finish a question at the same time. Give one possible time when this could have happened. So if we look here, we can go to our table. We've got lots of different choices with this. All I'm going to do, I'm just going to go ahead and fill out one more. Let's put in one more and then you can choose. That would be 24, this would be 48 and this is going to be 
36. So what we're doing here is looking to find the same value in each of these. Again, this is a lowest common multiple problem, but if you're unsure on how to work it, let's go ahead and just use a bit of brain power. We can see here that we have 24. We're only asked for one time. 24, 24, and 24. Let's just uh, get rid of that bit. 24, 24, and 24. So we can see now that on this period, they're going to have done that, and we can say from the table, so let's just write this up, again, from our table of workings, and this would be sufficient, we can write in part C, all girls finish a paper after 24 minutes, so after 24 minutes, and we can say, therefore, if they start at 2, so therefore, from here, we can say, therefore, now, one possible time it could happen was 2.24 p.m. And that is my answer. Again, with this table of values, I've taken now a lowest common multiple problem again and just simply made it a lot easier. If you want to, you can go ahead and just think about the lowest common multiple and do it. From the table vote, we can pick these values. And remember, they started at 2 p.m. So we have to give this in context. We can't just say 24 or she does 6, she does 3 and she does uh, 4. We have to say all girls finish paper after 24 minutes. Therefore, 2.24 p.m. is one possible time. So that's one way of looking to structure that question if you're not too comfortable with highest common factor and lowest common multiple topics.